and welcome to those here. Welcome to our T3 committee and those listening on Council Audio. Today's Tuesday, June 18th. I'm Chairman Buscaino, joined here by my colleague, Council Member Mike Bonin. Mr. Bonin, if I can direct you the attention of the agenda. So what we have before us here, I would recommend we take on consent items one, four, five, six, and seven, unless you want to hold any on the desk. No, that's fine. Okay, we do have cards and all those items, so let's take those now. Eric Previn, come forward. Last call for Eric Previn. Oh, there you are. So you're going to have uh, three minutes, two minutes on all the items, and one on general public comment. Good afternoon. Thank you, uh, Councilmember Buscaino, Mr. Bonin, and uh, City Attorney Hong, who is present today. Uh, I believe City Attorney Hong was present at the Greg Smith-led meeting in this very room, or one next door. What item are you speaking on? I'm speaking Hold this clock. Number. Well, I believe one in five. No. Okay. Wh anything to do with Mr. Hong? No. Well, Hong okay, is stick to the attorney. items. You know, you know the, you know what to do. Stick no, to the items, please. Thank and you I'm very much. Continue. When you have multiple items on an agenda, as you do, uh, and you take the opportunity when a member of the public steps out to speak in Bonin's meeting, transportation, for example, just as an example, and these are about the agenda. Okay, you just forfeited your time. Give him his one minute of general public comment, please. You know the routine. Right. Go ahead. So the routine is, is that little fuckers like you stand up and say the meeting is closed, public comment is closed as soon as a person goes to the bathroom, which is completely inappropriate. And when you do that, when you behave that way, you don't act like a police officer or a council member. You act like a petty little brat. And it was not you, to be fair, but I don't like your attitude and I disregard what you just said about closing out the items. I would say that Greg Smith, who violated the lifetime ban on uh, lobbying subsequent to serving as a council member, but Heather Holt and the half-baked losers who work in the Ethics Commission simply rubber-stamped it and allowed him to serve for what amounts to be several months, maybe nine months, but he couldn't possibly serve to save us the entire cost of a special election to elect your little friend, Mitchell Englander's sexual harassment associate. So I would just simply say, think twice before you slam the door on the public in the future, Mr. Buscano, and discuss it with your friend Greg Smith tonight. Thank you, Mr. Previn. Okay, um, Wayne, same thing with you. Split and uh, be reminded to speak on the items. Mm. So you have two minutes of the item, all the items that you pulled and one minute of general public comment. So item number one is Diane Medellin of the Board of Ne Harbor Commissioners. The fucking cunt! No, I'm number one. We don't want anybody else, especially if she's fat. We don't want anybody else on the Board of Harbor Commissioners. Keep the cake away from the fat cunts. Number two, the industrial, economic, and Paula, fuck you. Item three is Bonin. The world airports, the world's worst fucking airport and the power outage. You see, this is what happens. First, you goddamn order a couple of kids on Amazon and they give you black ones by accident and then he shuts down the fucking goddamn airport for not paying the router bell. You fucking faggot, my body. How come you can't turn on the electricity to a fucking airport? What happens when the planes come in? And we're trying to land. Help, mayday, mayday. And what the fuck happens? We don't have any lights. We don't have any fucking electricity at a fucking airport. Never heard of backup generators. Never heard of solar power. Never heard of fire pits involving gas, natural gas turbine. Goddamn systems. Oh, you're going to turn them off. You might burn it. I'm Mr. Energy. I'm going to turn off all the natural.